Selena Gomez, a name synonymous with music, television, and film, became a billionaire at just 32 years old. But this isn't just a tale of glitz and glamour. It's a story that will leave you asking, what was the shrewdest decision she ever made? And how did she turn her struggles into triumphs? Let's take a step back to where it all began. Selena Marie Gomez was born in Grand Prairie, Texas, to a mother who was just 16 years old. Her childhood was far from easy. Imagine living in a household where the simple act of putting food on the table was a daily struggle, where every penny was pinched and luxury was a distant dream. Selena's mother, Mandy, worked multiple jobs to make ends meet. There were days when they had to scavenge for quarters just to get enough gas to drive to school or work. Dinner often meant spaghetti from the local dollar store. Yet, despite these hardships, Mandy instilled in Selena the values of hard work, and perseverance. But here's a question for you. How does a young girl, burdened by poverty, dreaming of a better life, manage to break free from the chains of her circumstances? What was the turning point? Could it have been her close relationship with her grandparents, who despite their own struggles, offered her a glimpse of hope? Or was it something more? At just 10 years old, Selena got her first big break on the children's television series, Barney and Friends. Yes, the same purple dinosaur we all grew up watching. But let's be real. How many child actors have we seen who burst onto the scene only to disappear into obscurity. What made Selena different? What set her on the path to become a global sensation? As she transitioned from Barney and Friends to Disney Channel's Wizards of Waverly Place, Selena quickly became a household name. She was not just another teen idol. She was a force to be reckoned with. But here's where the plot thickens. Selena wasn't content with just acting. She wanted more. She wanted to be more than just another face on TV. She was driven by an insatiable hunger to build something bigger, something lasting. But what was her game plan? What was the masterstroke that set her apart from the rest? Now let's fast forward to her music career. With hits like Come and Get It, the heart wants what it wants and lose you to love me, Selena solidified her place in the music industry. But did you know that her success as a musician wasn't what made her a billionaire? Surprised? Most people would be, considering how many albums she sold and the countless sold-out tours she's headlined. But here's a thought. What if I told you that Selena's true genius lay not in her singing, but in her ability to diversify? She didn't just stop at music. Selena ventured into acting, producing, and even voice acting with roles in movies like Hotel Transylvania. She became a producer on the hit Netflix series 13 Reasons Why, showing the world that she was more than just a pop star. What decision did Selena make that changed everything? Or was it something even more strategic? But how does Selena Gomez compare to other billionaire musicians? The list of artists who have reached the coveted billionaire status is short, and it includes industry giants like Jay-Z, Taylor Swift, and the legendary Michael Jackson. Jay-Z's journey to becoming a billionaire was marked by his groundbreaking music career, which he leveraged to build a business empire that spans entertainment, fashion, and even sports management. His savvy investments in companies like Uber and his own ventures like Rock Nation have solidified his status as a mogul. Taylor Swift, another member of this exclusive club, has masterfully used her talent, business savvy, and fierce independence to build a billion-dollar empire. From her chart-topping albums to her record-breaking tours and smart brand partnerships, Taylor has redefined what it means to be a successful artist in the 21st century. And then there's Michael Jackson, the king of pop, whose influence on music and culture is immeasurable. Despite the controversies that surrounded his life, Jackson's music catalog, innovative music videos, and global tours amassed a fortune that continues to grow posthumously. Each of these musicians has not only dominated the charts, but also mastered the art of turning their fame into a sustainable and highly profitable business. And here we come to one of the most pivotal moments in Selena's journey, 2020, the year she launched her very own makeup brand, Rare Beauty. A brand that was not just another celebrity vanity project, but a true reflection of her identity. But why makeup? Why now? And how did Rare Beauty become the key to unlocking Selena's billionaire status? Rare Beauty was a game changer in the beauty industry. From its inception, the brand was different. It wasn't about promoting unattainable beauty standards. It was about embracing individuality and breaking down the unrealistic ideals that had dominated the industry for so long. But here's where Selena's brilliance truly shines. She didn't just create a brand, she created a movement. A movement that resonated with millions of people around the world. But the question remains, how did Rare Beauty become so successful so quickly? Was it the timing, the branding, or was it something deeper, something that connected with people on an emotional level? And what was Selena's role in steering the brand to such phenomenal success? After all, many celebrities have launched beauty lines, but few have reached the heights that Rare Beauty has. What was Selena's secret? According to reports, Rare Beauty's annual sales grew by 100% from 2021 to 2022, and by a staggering 200% the following year. By May 2024, the brand had hit $400 million in sales over the previous 12 months. 
And let's not forget that the brand's best-selling product, a $23 liquid blush, raked in $70 million in sales alone. But here's a thought. How does a beauty brand in an already saturated market achieve such exponential growth? And what does this say about Selena's business acumen? Was it her hands-on approach to the business? Or perhaps her strategic partnerships with major retailers like Sephora, making rare beauty accessible in 36 countries worldwide? Maybe it was her decision to focus on inclusivity, offering a wide range of shades that catered to all skin tones. But whatever it was, it worked. Rare beauty didn't just make Selena rich, it made her a billionaire. But here's another twist. Did you know that despite her success, Selena has been open? about her struggles with mental health. In fact, her brand's mission is closely tied to her own experiences with anxiety and depression. Rare beauty isn't just about makeup. It's about creating a space where people feel seen, heard, and understood. Could this be the real reason behind the brand's success? Because it's not just selling a product. It's selling a message, a message of self-love and acceptance. But rare beauty isn't the only jewel in Selena's crown. She's also made millions from endorsement deals with major brands like Puma and Coach, reportedly worth $30 million and $10 million, respectively. And let's not forget her massive social media following. Selena is the third most followed person on Instagram, with over 424 million followers. Imagine the power she wields with just a single post. In fact, it's estimated that she can make up to $2.6 million per branded post on Instagram. But here's the kicker. Despite all this, her social media influence is still not the main reason she's a billionaire. So what is it then? How did Selena, with all these income streams, still rely on one key decision to push her into the billionaire club? And what does this say about her strategy? Is it just luck? Or is there a method to her success? But Selena's story isn't just about business. It's also about love, heartbreak, and finding happiness. Over the years, she's been linked to several high-profile relationships, including with The Weeknd, Zed, Nick Jonas, and of course, her tumultuous on-and-off relationship with Justin Bieber. But despite these public romances, Selena has always remained private about her personal life. However, recent reports suggest that she might be happier than ever. She's been quietly dating music producer Benny Blanco, and rumors are swirling that the couple is engaged. But what does this mean for Selena? Is she finally ready to settle down? And how does this personal happiness tie into her professional success? Could it be that finding balance in her personal life has allowed her to focus more on her career? Or is it the other way around? So, after all this, what was the shrewdest decision Selena Gomez ever made? What was the move that transformed her from a struggling child actress into a billionaire at just 32 years old? Was it launching Rare Beauty? Was it diversifying her income streams? Or was it something else entirely? The answer lies not in a single decision, but in a series of calculated moves that Selena made over the years. Her ability to reinvent herself, to stay relevant in an ever-changing industry, and to turn her personal struggles into a powerful brand narrative. All these factors played a role. But the one decision that truly stands out is her unwavering commitment to being true to herself. In a world where so many celebrities lose themselves in the pursuit of fame and fortune, Selena stayed grounded. She built a brand that wasn't just about making money, it was about making a difference. Until next time, keep dreaming big.